Sergei Karakin, ranked number 27 in the world. Some difficulties in growth is a comparative phenomenon. It could even be called an optical illusion. Yes, Karakin lagging behind Carlson is a sad fact, but it really can be missed. But then again, who wouldn't be lagging behind? When the starting point is moving with the speed of a high-speed plane, everybody else will seem slow. I want to point out that our people may start slow, but then go up very fast. So the uh, current opposition of power isn't final. Sergei is continuing to progress, slower than Magnus, yes, but he's getting experience and learning to beat great grandmasters. Uh, in this tournament, he will be in the shadow of his star up here, but that's only for the beginning. We'll see who'll be under the light on the last day of the tournament. I think that Kraken is a, uh, capable of being the biggest surprise in this tournament. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Michael Adams, ranked number 24 in the world. The strongest player from England really doesn't need an introduction. He is as stable as the traditions of his country, motivated, tenacious, technical, and so on. Lately, Michael has been playing like a worker, com qualitatively, smartly, but completely without creativity, as if he's doing it out of habit, and really that's not working so well. What's the use of talking about his, the talent and the one-of-a-kind feeling that Adams possesses when he doesn't want to or can't show it? What's the use remembering about his fantastic skills of coordinating the pieces when he senses danger when he doesn't give it all to his game? All in all, I'm skeptical about him. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Lanier Dominguez, ranked number 23 in the world. A new face in the leap, a brush the fresh air in the, so to say, conservative European atmosphere of the chess society. I'm very happy that Lanier won the World Blitz Championship in Almaty and made the organizers of big tournaments pay attention to him. The broadening of the geography is very necessary for popularity of chess. There was a time when Dominguez's countryman, Bouzon, played in Europe but couldn't hold on there. So here we see the second Cuban attempt. I personally started respecting Dominguez back in 2004 when I saw how stylishly he destroyed Rajabov's defense during the FIDE World Championship in uh, Tripoli. The amount of talent was clear there. Some people are skeptical. What, are, uh, what is the success in winning a, war a Blitz Championship? Like it's not chess but some fun hobby. No, I won't offer the skeptics to play and for fun slap around Imanchukun Svidler like Dominguez did that. I will just point out that Blitz is a very clear projector of chess talent. In it, quick and clear calculations, which is a lot and not given to many, is the enough for success. You see, when a chess player has to make a difficult decision on the board, he must count on his intuition, on some born-in understanding of chess on the subtlest of feelings that will let him choose one move above the rest. So only a very talented player will become a great blitz player, and only an incredible player will become a world blitz champion. So I'm sincerely rooting for Dominguez. I think that is the first time where he won't be able to finish in the top three, but he's capable of showing a very good result. Thank you very much. Have a good day.